Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck and we are back on the red server on Project 1999 on Ogier. Now, today I um, pretty much, I recorded a lot of video and um, honestly, this is, I changed my schedule because I, I just was not able to stay up as late as I would have wished on um, Tuesday. So this actually happened during peak hours, more around that 4.30 to 5 o'clock timeline. So if anything was going to happen, it would happen here. Also, I, I tried to get as much video as I could of just me leveling and then coming back and turning in bone chips and whatnot just because of the fact that um it's easier to just watch him level you yeah. um the progression throughout the night of what i'm able to take on is just mind-blowing and then whenever i'm finally high enough to kill the crags the crag chicks then it just becomes pointless <laughs> But, um, up until level 8, bone chips are the best, um, experience. So, the, that was my mindset the whole time, is that, um, I need to continue to get, uh, bone chips because of the fact that that is what's going to move me along the fastest. Now, I had a single encounter of a sentient being, I guess you would say. Another person um and that was nothing nothing happened it was actually two people to be honest it was a druid and a wizard or an enchanter maybe whatever the yellow robe is for gnomes but they were working together i guess they were grouping but they didn't attack me and oddly you will notice that I'm able to pull so many mobs because no one else is here. What's going on? I know that the population is lower here, which is very helpful for me to be able to level. But I'm just wondering where all the people are because this is, <laughs> it, it's pretty much just giving me free experience by there not being anyone else in this, in this area. And, I don't know. Anyway, I ended up killing non-stop. There was three deaths, at, I think. And that was, one was due to a disconnect. And, um, Strafe was <laughs> turned off because of the fact that, um, I was already disconnected for about, I don't know, five or ten seconds by the time I knew I had a crag on me. And, um, I can't at the level at which I was trying to take them, or the level at which it got on me, I wasn't able to take it. So, eh. eh but all deaths were contributed to Crag Chick specifically. So, now that I'm getting that level 5 and level 6, hopefully, um, even level 7, I'm going to just farm the crap out of them i'm gonna wipe them out and hopefully they will give me their feet along the way because that's pretty much what i need for that quest i still don't know what it gives me um and i'm really interested to see what that um if it gives me a weapon if it gives me armor I, I i don't know i would doubt that it would give me armor if it gave me armor that would be stupid because of the fact that there are already two and three quests already in the zone, they give me armor. One is the Bone Ship quest. The other one is the um, Crush Bone uh, belts and um, shoulder pads. Now, I'm trying to look through or remember all these zones that I could go to at um, certain levels. Because it would not be smart for me to just roll up into Crushbone uh, whenever I got high enough to go in there. Uh, which level 10 is when you can pretty much solo 
um, a good area of the zone, which is um, where the slaver and um, slayer, it's slavers, I think. Anyway, you can solo that area pretty well. Um, but I don't know if I want to go to Crushbone. I might just get on a boat and go um, kill spiders. Try to get level 12-ish. Actually, level 9. Once I get level 9, I can probably go to... Um, go to North Row and kill spiders. Or uh, those... That, not spiders, but the other things. The, the beetles. And might be able to do that. That would probably be the best route to go. I'm pretty... I'm going to try to stay away from dungeons that are going to be overly populated. I, I didn't say I was going to give people my my death to them <laughs> whenever I, I was coming to the server. Uh, that was not the point of me joining the server. But the point was is to see if I can use the information that I know or have to be able to complete the task of leveling this character without as much interaction as possible <laughs> at least that was my mindset i don't know what you expected but that was my mindset is that don't get killed <laughs> um I, one other thing that i've been doing is i've been trying to get um spiderling silk whenever i can uh to try to get practice so i can make bandages um i think this might be the battle where I had to use lay hands I don't remember but I don't use lay hands for anything and I know I should save it for um, for whenever I'm fighting another player <laughs> but like I said I haven't fought anybody I'm not really worried about it too much at this point or at this level if I die then that's just because someone else is twinked and they want to kill people or just because they want to kill people. <laughs> but um, if um, I get in a fight, then I'm going to get in a fight. It's not anything that I have control over. Uh, will I purposely go out of my way to fight other people? Maybe, uh, but I don't know yet. It really depends on the situation. Um, I think I've already said that I don't purposely plan to attack or kill anybody who's considered um a, a a good race versus an evil race is what i'm trying to say there so i i mean if i get in a fight then that's fantastic by the way the whole night um that guild that's listed there must have been doing a guild event and filled a bone because they killed each other all night and um uh, the only time that I really saw messages change were if it was something that was um, a city of mist um, death or if someone was trying to mess with uh, them in Field of Bones and they got took out. <laughs> that was pretty much the only other messages I saw. But um, I don't know. I'm really enjoying this. You'll see that here, I believe, I get... No, this is, this is, I got, I just got level four, and, um, I think this is whenever I started banking, and, um, yeah, this is when I, I, the, what my plan was, is that every time now that I go in to turn in bone chips, or whatever quest it is that I'm working on, then I am putting in, uh, I'll put money in the bank. Uh, this way, money can't be taken off my body, and it just becomes a way for just to see who was better kind of ordeal instead of, oh no, I lost all my money because I wasn't being smart. Of course, also you could um, later on you could down you could dumb down your character, meaning that. Um, what I remember doing on Red Server on live is I would have multiple sets of backpacks or multiple backpacks and I'd have my just good enough gear to be able to solo and then I would have my PvP gear, all that really good stat based magic resist 
gear that you just swap out and then you're um instead of being a little wimp like you originally look like you become a boss um <laughs> uh, when will that ever happen on the server i don't know i don't have money so that's the point is i'm trying to save up and every time that i um get a skill in blacksmithing it's a it's positive for me because it's helping me with a skill that i can use later to um, get other abilities um, like I could make my own weapons later on but really weapons aren't why you do blacksmithing um, it's the armor that you do the blacksmithing for so anyway we ended up um, just <laughs> stopping to do a little bit of blacksmithing and then went back out into the fields um, overall I can't really explain or say how I feel about the server um, the experience isn't so much as fast as I thought it would be but I'm not excluding the fact that I'm not grouping group experience on here is supposed to be magnified times 10 versus what blue is so until I get in a full group if I get in a full group at any time um, then we'll, we'll we'll find out how the experience goes but i'm not really worried about how fast i level it's more of um just taking my time to have fun and expect that at any point during my gameplay i have a chance to die and what i th thought was odd is that it's not odd so much i know why people said like get ready you're going to red server you're gonna get killed all the time well yeah i mean that's what red server is about this is why i i i think that people are misunderstand what they're getting themselves into with all the advertising that is done on reddit or anywhere else that red is being promoted is that it's still a red server, meaning that you can be killed at any time, which can get very annoying if you get killed a lot. And if you join some of the major guilds, you get killed a lot by other guilds of the same, or get killed. It's, I don't know, like uh, Holocaust and um, Fresh seem to be always killing each other. <laughs> so... I mean, that's why I don't want to relate to a guild right off the bat and uh, just just see what I can do on my own. I don't know if I completed any kind of <laughs> active sentence during that conversation, but um, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just going to play to have fun. And while i die i will be laughing or i will be crying but either way it it's going to be an experience and i've had a lot of this experience while on live server uh on live servers rather because i did play on Rallisec and um i had a lot of fun at it even though you're gonna die it's just part of the way it is now pvp on everquest live or everquest one whatever you want to call it was nothing compared to pvp on everquest 2 pvp on everquest 2 was just absolutely insane people would spawn camp zones uh, i mean uh you could walk into a zone and there'd be like 50 people there waiting just to gank you and it's you didn't lose items you just lost money like you do here but still it was so much worse on um on red server on um everquest 2 so i doubt it's gonna really bother me too much here but we'll see i guess um i'm going to try to record the audio whenever i get ganked this way I, you'll know how i feel <laughs> during during the um during the thing that happens. Anyway, I believe by the end of the night, I made about six gold, uh, not six gold, but six plat um, off of just turning in quest items and killing mobs and turning their weapons into 
um, sh tarnished stuff. And we're back out to the killing fields. You, just watch through the video, just the progression of mobs that I, st I pull. I, I pretty much get to the point where I'm pulling everything, um, even the crags, as you can see there. Um, which I believe this is actually where I end up using lay hands, um, which could have probably been saved, but I end up getting pretty low because out of everything that's attacking me, the crag is, is, gets me knocked down pretty low before I'm able to regain control of the situation. So, uh, I think I would just wait for until I get a little bit lower, but... I don't know how I'll react in an actual uh, PvP situation on the Paladin because I don't want to use lay hands too early, but I don't want to <laughs> use it too late either because I don't want to be the loser of one of those fights. So it, I don't know. I if if I die before level nine to another player. I'm going to consider that just growing pains. <laughs> uh, but after level 9, that's when you have spells and that's when you have more ability over your character. Meaning you have heals, you have uh, blind, you have... Oh, I forget if you have stun at level 9. But you have cures at level 9. So... If you die after that to someone who's within your level range, it's usually because you're not playing your character right or you were ambushed and you weren't paying attention. Um, but that all comes down to, uh, I don't know, speculation, I guess. Uh, we'll see, though. Um, I'm, I, I can't really say what happens until it happens, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I was able to take out pretty much the whole yard in this pool and it's weird that i'm able to just pull large groups of mobs and be able to take them though in this instance um if i wouldn't have had that that uh crag chick i would have been fine um it's just that those things pump out so much damage and once you get uh leveled it, they stop. They stop doing that. You start beating the crap out of them, and they stop uh, hurting you at all. So, I don't know. Um, it's weird how a single level can change everything about you, your character versus the, a mob. But anyway, guys, um, I just wanted to keep going with it. Keep having some fun on uh, Ogier. And hopefully, uh, in the next video, we will travel to Greater Fay because I'm pretty much in my own little safe bubble right now. And Greater Fay is where death is going to happen, if it's going to happen to me. So we'll see how it goes. But I thought I'd leave you uh, with some good footage of me fighting. And I believe I ended up getting level 5 almost level six at the end of the of the night after turning in um i think it was a total of like five stacks bone chips throughout this whole uh video so thank you again for watching i hope you have a great day a great evening and a great night this is cypher deck peace out